Good morning, welcome to today's vlog. Scooter and I are at Paris Harley Davidson. Just got done doing an iron butt ride on this beautiful piece of machinery. This bike performed like an absolute dream. That 107, porky baby. And that fairing, everybody asks about the different fairings and which one's the best. I'm here to tell you right now, this road glide fairing is a lot better on long distance traveling than the batwing fairing. I've ridden quite a few miles on both. Anyhow, today we are gonna have a little bit of a day and go through some of my prized possessions, my trophies, if you will. For those of you who don't know, I'm the first person, along with Scooter here, to ride to every Harley Davidson dealership in the Continental 48 in America, we'll say. It was a heck of a run, man. I rode hard through all kinds of weather with minimal support and funding. We made it happen. We struggled at many times and many corners. We did a lot of struggle, but nonetheless, we had some good people behind us and we had a mission, a mission to help our veterans. We raised over $300,000 that we donated to the military, different causes through the American Legion Legacy Scholarship Fund and through the Wounded Warrior Project. And that, we made a difference in a life. Along the way, I got to meet some of the raddest people. I didn't get to do it on a bike quite this beautiful. I did it on an old 1996 Electroglide Standard. No ABS, no cruise control, None of the luxuries that this thing provided me on this last iron butt ride. And now that we're here, I'm gonna share with you really some of my prized possessions from my trip. You know, I had some things that maybe money-wise, monetary-wise aren't worth that much, but really mean the world to me because I know the amount of work that went in to get them. So let's get to, oh, Scooter agrees. And say it was work from both of us, huh, buddy? Say we both worked hard at getting that. Maybe we should share some of that stuff with you right now. Okay, so my friend Cody at Paris Harley Davidson has an old building that he has kind of empty and he has allowed me to use it as kind of storage for some of my stuff, including my prized possession collection, which we are about to show you right now. And where are my boxes? There they are. So there they are. Every one of these bins is filled from top to bottom with Harley Davidson t-shirt. Let's grab one out and take a look at it. There she is. There's a lot of them. Montgomery, High Country, Woodstock, Conrad, Blue Bayou. I love these people. Blue Bayou, big thumbs up to y'all. Let's see what this box has. Baltimore, Harley Davidson of Washington, Renegade, Valley, Al, Centennial Park, Mike's Famous, Chester, San Diego, New York Mike, Barnett, and it just keeps going. Boston, Toad Suck, and hey, there's one. Champion Harley Davidson. Got an alien riding a motorcycle. Hundreds and hundreds of Harley Davidson t-shirts. I think in total I've got somewhere around 500 and 70, 508 t-shirts. Y'all let me know how many Harley Davidson t-shirts you got in your collection. Interested to see how mine compare. I think I may have the largest collection in the world. And let me tell you something, riding to every one of these dealerships, pick up every one of these shirts is quite the mission and really my greatest life work. Not only did I get these trophies of these shirts, but we also made a difference in a lot of lives along the way. And it was only made possible by all y'all. So thank you very much for that. So we're in a meeting here with my friends and we're going over my ASR sunglasses. Now you have seen the wood ones. Uh, we've already put them out. We've like sold out of them. Uh, you can get them at Epic Eyewear or on my website. But what I want to show you today is something revolutionary. This is absolutely 100% revolutionary to the sunglass industry. We've got an actual patent on this. So you can't steal the idea. And I'm going to show you in here what we've been working. Now there's still going to be a few months of R&D. We got to get these things perfect for you. But I'm going to give you the first peek at my new patented sunglass technology. Now again, a lot of things are going to change yet. So this is like one of the first prototype. Check out these glasses. Now what is revolutionary about these glasses? Glasses. Let me tell you, <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm so excited to share this with you. This is a leak. These aren't gonna be ready till the end of the year. But inside these arms are magnets. And why are magnets important? Because you close the glasses and watch this. Check this out. What? You can stick the glasses to your gas tank. Boop. Clears dark, swap them out day, night to the fridge in your house. You can stick them to your boat, to your motorcycle, your four-wheeler, toolbox, whatever you want, you will be able to stick just about anywhere. These are my new ASR glasses, and we have got a patent on this technology. They'll come in two different styles. These are like the more ballistic uh, rated style, a little bit bigger, and it's really cool. They got, if you can see it there, let me set you down. Got my logo in there, and it's actually molded into the glasses, so it's not like, you know, it's raised the same way Oakley and all the big boys do it. Inside the arms, this is all rubber. And these are a material that like bends. You can't, you just, you can't break these glasses. Look at that, bends flat. 
They go right back. It's top of the line material and it's rubber coated so it won't scratch your paint or anything like that. This is going to be the future. Just stick them right to a gas tank. Pop, ride, switch out your clear. Boom. Clears the darks, darks to clear, and you're good to go. The lenses will come in different colors, but this is something we've been working on for a while with Epic Eyewear. This is the future of sunglasses, and I am super, super excited. But now we are going to change the way people carry their sunglasses. I recently had somebody ask me on my YouTube vlog, do I collect poker chips and how many do I have? The answer is I have not count, but I'm gonna show you right now. That, my friends, is a lot of poker chips, and I love every single one of them. They're from all over. Let's read a couple off to you here. Crossroads, Mid-America, Cape Cod, to Silverton, Colorado, Jaeger's Harley-Davidson, McDermott's Harley-Davidson, Andreas Harley-Davidson, Anderson Harley-Davidson, Rooster. It's crazy to think I rode to every one of these. Every one of these chips has got some sort of a story with them. A lot. A lot of Harley Davidson dealerships. And this is my coin collection. I'll show you my favorite one. Comes in this nice little Harley Davidson case. This one comes with a very special story. Got to meet one of the people that I truly look up to in the motorcycle world. Somebody who's really made a difference. That man's name is etched right there on that coin. That's right, Matt. Matt Levitich, the CEO of Harley Davidson. I actually got to sit and spend some time with this man. And let me tell you, from a biker's perspective, sometimes you worry corporate America and its directions and passions and motives and do they really relate to our bikers? Do they really relate to what's happening out there on the road? And the answer is this man right here 100% does. And I say that genuinely from my heart. I got to spend more time with him than honestly than I deserve. I got to learn a lot about his vision and his direction for the brand that I obviously love so dearly. And he really does get it. He really does understand what us bikers want. And he really is working hard to move that company in the right direction. I think he's doing a great job. And uh, this, my friends, is my prized possession coin because the man who is steering the company that I love so dearly not only agrees with me, but also gave me this coin. Pretty cool. I'm gonna share with you one more of my possession. This isn't really anything I, I earned. It's just an accomplishment that I'm pretty proud of. The Scoot in America book, Inside My Helmet. I wrote this book about my travels. I wrote this book about why I did what I did and my experience experience my mindset from before leaving on the trip all the way through my first year on the trip. The people I've met, the experience I was in, the hardships, the successes, just my inspiration and reasons for doing what I want. It's very accurately put inside my helmet. I tell a lot of personal information in here, but I felt everybody that followed me and everybody that supported me and pushed me through definitely deserved the truth. You can get on my website, adamsandvillerides.com. But this book right here, if you do have it and you do enjoy it, please leave me a comment down below and tell me how much. And yes, before you start any asking, I am working on a second book. I just, I just, I'm behind the gun on it. I'm, I'm working on it. It's not ready yet. I know I said this summer, but it's just not ready yet. We got a lot of irons in the fire. I think with that, I am going to call it a day on the vlog. Uh, I wanna thank you all very much for being part of uh, my travels. If you saw anything interesting today or liked anything, please give us that thumbs up. And as always, getting my videos out to other social channels, out to Facebook, everywhere else, the shares mean the world to me. If you want to know about my iron butt ride, it is tagged right here. God bless, y'all have a great day, and thank you so much for my support. Dream until your dreams come true. Hey.